hello guys you're welcome back credible fatty here if you're new to the channel i say a big welcome to you please be sure to hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know every time i post a video so guys in today's video we're going to be making a drawstring packaging bag if you're a business owner that deals with products and services or products rather than services and you're looking for a better way to package your products this video is for you and if you're also the type that is thinking of a new way a better way to start making money this video is also for you so guys just go grab yourself a seat sit tight and enjoy this video so i will start by laying the material flat folding it into two and folding that two into four i'll be using a soft satin but it's preferable you use the hard satin because it will give you a better outcome i'm using it because that is what i have at the moment I'll be using a scissors, a measuring tape, a ruler and a chalk or a pen. So I'll measure the width as 12 and measure the length, the full length as 14 or 14 and a half because I'm looking to make a big drawstring bag because I'm making this drawstring bag to deliver braided wigs. I'm making it basically to package braided wigs. So that's why I'm making it big so you can make it smaller, you can choose to make it the width eight eight by probably 12 whatever depending on the product you you sell so after marking it out 12 by 14 and a half i'll just cut it i'll go ahead to cut it i'll be using the, the ruler to mark it out so achieve a straight line So after cutting it out, I'll fold it into two, then cut it. So that will achieve two drawstring bags from this particular cutout that I made. So I'll be using basically using this one that I cut out to cut out the rest. And guys, one major benefit of using a drawstring bag to package your products rather than using a nylon is that it tends to look more beautiful more sophisticated than just packaging it in, in nylon or packaging it anyhow so this you using a drawstring bag will give it that beautiful packaging that you want and you can even go ahead to print your brand name on it you can go ahead to print out your brand name or even go ahead to customize it to your desirable style just to make it unique so that's one thing about using a drawstring bag as a packaging material and again you can also decide to start making money from it start making it in bulk and delivering to business owners like yourself you can even decide to go into business with people that print and you print it directly for the person and you just deliver it you can even if you're the type that don't have a sewing machine but you have access to a tailor you can just liaise with the tailor and make it and you can even start a business from this by yourself but the bottom line is before you start you will need to know all these things like the type of materials to use how to even make it so you will know if there's an error and the quantity the quantity you're likely to get from a yard because this one making this one i used one and a half yard and i got about eight pieces that was that was because i i made a large size a larger size so you'd know over time you will know watching this video will make you understand so once you know the size you're going to be working with and the pieces of drawstring bags you would likely get from a yard so you'll be able to calculate and you would know what to expect and that's where the tailor will be able to cheat you and you will be able to calculate how much you should you are going to put into it and how much you are going to realize from it so guys i went ahead to iron out the material because i can't sew on the wrong pulled or squeezed material so i iron it out and what i'm basically going to do now is to hem the edges of the top part so I'll hem the edges of the top part just at both sides
then i'm also going to fold the top part that's the part at which the string is going to pass through i'm going to fold it by one and a half inch then hem please just watch it closely to understand And guys, always remember to double stitch at every beginning point and end point of your of your stitch. You'd always want to double stitch to secure your stitch. So after hemming both ends and sewing the string part of both ends, I will bend it into two, I'll fold it into two equal parts, then sew each edges. I will start sewing right below the stitch because I would not want to close up that hole at which the string is going to pass. I don't know if you understand, so I will start sewing right below it. So I will sew it straight and seal it up. Then you want to also go ahead to whip out the edges to avoid shedding or rough look. You won't want the bag to be looking rough at the end of the day. So I will sew the second part, sew right below the stitch, then just sew it straight, then also whip the edge. So you always want to whip the edge because if you can see, as you can see in the video, it's already pulling out. So if you leave that for a while it will look rough so this is it after sewing it as easy as that it took me less than 20 20 minutes to finish sewing so what i'm going to do right now is to fix in the ribbon so i measured out my the ribbon i used 41 inch and i cut it into equal half now what I'm going to be doing right now is to fix the first half round. I'll take it all the way round. But mind you, as you are fixing it round, you'd want to secure the other end of the ribbon so that it will not pull out. So after fixing it all the way, I'll tie it so that it will not open or unravel as I am putting in the second one. So I'll go ahead to fix the second string. So what I'll do now is to fix the second string and guys please when you are fixing the second string make sure you fix at opposite direction you don't fix at the same direction at which the first string came out so you fix at the opposite end and take it round so you fix it round and, and bring it out at the other end so that way it will be alternate to be facing each other so that when you pull at both string it will come to a close so that's just it this is the drawstring bag this is the final look i went ahead to iron it off camera the edges off camera and guys you can decide to use any ribbon you have you can decide to go for those beautiful ribbon with glitters you can even decide to sew the satin into a tiny string and use so that is pretty much all you need to know as simple and as easy as that you can even decide to put the logo on it I, I went ahead to burn out the edges of the ribbon to secure it so guys please subscribe to the channel if you've watched this point and are yet to subscribe that'll be all for today thank you so so much for taking the time out to watch this video till we meet in my next one bye